enforcement officers have to make quick decisions in the field every day. And today, the Canton, Missouri Police Department gave residents a look into some of what their training is like. And WGEM Shakela McCammick joins us now with details. Shakela. Mackenzie, the Canton Police Department has shoot or no shoot simulation trainings once a year. They do these to keep track and enhance their decision making skills when under pressure. This time the public was invited to participate in a similar training so they could experience the real world problems law enforcement face and to have to see how they respond. Yeah, there's a really creepy guy with my friend. I told her not to go with him, but she didn't listen to me. When faced with a dangerous situation, do you know how you would respond? Law enforcement officers have to make quick decisions every day, from figuring out how to defuse domestic situations to needing to take down a threatening suspect. On your knees, put your hands behind your head. Drop the bat. I didn't do anything wrong. Right. Once a year, the Canton Police Department goes through shoot and no shoot scenario training. This year, a training session was open to the public. Resident Nicole Odie says the simulation helped her see how difficult her local police officers' jobs can be. It's scary. I wouldn't want to be a police in today's society. Odie says she has more appreciation for law enforcement after the simulation training. They have a lot of quick decisions to make and a lot of a lot of things that you don't think about unless you come to one of these. But Chief Justin Allen says he didn't invite residents to make them appreciate local police. Appreciation wasn't the goal. Uh, it was awareness uh, so that they can understand and understand why we do certain things the way we do them. He invited them to show why their local officers might come across as intense when enforcing laws. It's all to better protect themselves and you. And if we come across as mean occasionally, it's not trying to be mean. It's just trying to get the situation under control. Chief Allen says this was his first time inviting the public to the simulation training, but he says after seeing responses from today's training, he will open it up to the public again in the future. Shakela McCammick, WGEM News.